But international goalkeeper is dropped and Dobren has recently been transferred. So a key man up front in breakaways for the Romanians will be Radu, their little number nine. And he is very much the key man up front, having scored 24 goals last season, 22 goals the season before. There he is, the man who scored most of their goals when they won the Romanian Championship a couple of seasons ago and played Nottingham Forest in the European Cup last season. So it's Aberdeen to kick off, mindful of course of their last match at Petodre in this competition when they beat Ipswich Town 3-1. Weather conditions have been variable all day, a lot of rain has fallen, uh, not longer than just a few minutes ago when uh, the rain was coming down as the fans should have been coming. The crowd slightly disappointing but that's the least of Aberdeen's worries and the first little bit of confusion in that Romanian goal down. Right over the top by goalkeeper Arichu who's replaced the international Romanian goalkeeper Christian and that might give him a little confidence at the start. Look at his header putting Watson under pressure. Well, he reacted well to that. Hewitt beaten by Tulpan showing fine control for a pullback. Fearless ball played in by McGee. And Stanku getting across before Weir. Plenty of urgency about the player Peter Weir. Uh, McMaster on that excellent left foot and the goalkeeper struggling. And Strachan gives Aberdeen the perfect start. The start that Aberdeen were obviously hoping for. And Gordon Strachan with his ninth goal of the season puts them ahead. So it was that superb early cross by John McMaster. Goalkeeper Arichu at full stretch, misjudged it slightly. And look at the control and the coolness of Strachan as he plays that into the internet. Bring it back now to McMaster. Here's Hewitt. Breaking the ball to Peter Weir. Zampier doing well to stay very close to the Aberdeen winger. 16 caps he has, Zampier. Good play from Peter Weir. Again, trouble with that cross ball in the Romanian defence. I think we can expect to see a great deal of balls played into the danger area by Aberdeen at the first possible opportunity. They've spotted how vulnerable the Romanian defence can be in that situation. There's Andy Watson. Now John Hewitt. Well, now the Romanian defence appears to be in total disarray. The original ball breaking to Watson at the edge of the box. His driven shot coming off the legs of Arichu. And if Hewitt had just steadied himself a shade more, he might well have done better with that final shot. Stuart Kennedy. Hewitt. Little flick header towards McGee. This is Andy Watson. Oh, Watson certainly got the scent for goal after scoring twice against St. Bern on Saturday. Corner kick to Aberdeen. Kennedy coming to the corner of the box. There's Rugby. And that was a fine chance for Rugby. The Romanians protesting that he was leaning as he came for that high ball. But Rugby might well, in fact, have scored with that header. It finished up going straight at goalkeeper Arichu. Sam Peter, a good turn of speed getting back. Uh, Turku on to Kalo. And Strachan measuring that. Pass back towards Leighton. Certainly was going wide of goal, although Leighton had to look very smart to get across to it. Callow controlling it only for Watson. Now oh, McMaster. McGee to Strachan. Strachan again. Forced wide towards Kennedy. McGee's at the far post, the goalkeeper is struggling again. There's McMaster. And how did that escape an Aberdeen foot? Driven straight across the six-yard box by McMaster. Missed by McGee and by Hewitt, and that could so easily have been Aberdeen's second. Way through the first half, Aberdeen still leading by that Gordon Strachan goal. And eager for more. That pass from Watson, though, won't help beyond McGee. Tulfan has shown himself to be a very tidy fullback. So the 
the throw to RJS will be taken by Tulpan. His net is number 10. Rugby for Aberdeen. Now Hewitt, he's found some room away from Kirsta. Well, I think he was overestimating the pace of Stuart Kennedy in the overlap. Lutz are beaten comfortably by Kennedy. Now here's McGee. And that's come back in. And a marvellous goal by Peter Weir. Well, it looked as though the chance was gone, but we have got to it in time. So the break on the right flank this time, and once again it was a cross ball delivered this time by Mark McGee, which had the Romanian defence all at sea once again. It appeared as though it had got past the far post, but we have turned it into that very narrow angle. McGee holding off two challenges. Now we're going for a run, and Zampia bringing him down in blatant fashion. So McGee, who was the victim of that dreadful tackle earlier on by Stanku, Again, taking some harsh treatment. The referee content to give a warning to Zampier, the Romanian fullback. As McMaster takes the free kick, Stanku's header. Strachan back to Miller. Romanian defence coming out again in a line. Again, the flag was up on the far side. This time, I think Kennedy was the man who this time the run forward. So the Romanians still playing this offside trap, which could so easily be breached by a well-timed run from midfield by Aberdeen. And this time it's Watson who goes down, and again the free kick to Aberdeen. Ignat getting a warning from the referee. Commanding figure, the Norwegian referee. A lot of work in the first half hour. Tulpan. Balutza running straight into trouble in the form of Strachan. Now Kennedy. There's Rugby in the box again. Well, Rugby certainly realizes how vulnerable that Romanian defense is to high cross balls, getting forward at every opportunity. Not quite getting the header the way he wanted to. Balutza. Back to Ignat. Balutza again. Good piece of running by Kahlo and obstruction, I think it may be. No, the referee content to give the throw in to RGS. Here's Radu trying to turn away from Cooper. Ignat plays it in. The clearance from rugby. Barbolescu fighting for it. Now Turku. Radu trying to find room for a shot. And Aberdeen combining. Play that up. The long ball from McMaster. Now we have McGee on his own. And that was Sonny Lee. Aberdeen start. Well, the pace of Mark McGee again. Destroying the Romanian defence. McMaster again with the early pass from a deep position. McGee's pace going through. The final shot looked good enough, but it just eluded that far post. Now Hewitt running straight into Zampier. Well, he's certainly working very hard to turn the tide for Arges. Radu towards Callow. Could have been a bit careless with that pass forward towards Watson. This is Ignat. Radu. Barbolescu on the right. And Hewitt doing a good job back checking. Here's Strachan. McGee is forward on the right. Watson arriving also. Kennedy on the right flank. It's a good early pass by Kennedy and Tulpan reacting well. Kennedy sweeping it in. And a marvellous save by Arichu. John Hewitt's header. Well, we've been talking about the frail nature of that Romanian defence across balls. But look at this for goalkeeping as.
is Kennedy's cross, huge diving header, and they'll reach your cross very quickly to that left-hand post to save. Referee allowing advantage. Baluza trying to get away from Kennedy. Getting help from Callo. Baluza's got a good turn of speed, as you can tell, if he can leave Kennedy. This is Radu. Turku made the decoy run. This is Barbalescu. And that could so easily have been disastrous for the Aberdeen defence. Baluza's header coming in on the blind side. Now Aberdeen must remain diligent. Good build-up this was from the Romanian side. The decoy run from number 11, Turku, setting up the chance for the cross. Baluza coming in. And the ball finishing in the side netting. Barbalescu. Kirsta. Drop right back. A marking role in central defence. Stanko to Zampia. Zampia appears to have decided that Arches have to come forward. Becoming more adventurous as the game goes on. The Romanian fullback, but that attack breaking down on rugby. Now uh, here's McMaster. Trying to thread that through towards McGee and the throw in is the consolation. McMaster again. Sweeping it in towards Hewitt. The perfect header. Well done, Hewitt. Certainly cannot be against that excellent goal. And again, the flighted ball coming into the left from the left foot of John McMaster. Hewitt rising above the Romanian defence and look at the direction and the power behind the header. Just on the half-time whistle, Aberdeen's third goal. And just the morale boost if they needed any at all that they welcomed for half-time. And that, in fact, was the last action of the first half. Aberdeen going at the interval, leading by three goals to nil. The goal scorers, Gordon Strachan after 12 minutes, then Peter Weir, and that marvellous headed goal just on the whistle by John Hewitt. So, a great first half performance by Aberdeen. Rejoin us in a couple of minutes for the second half action. Here's Zampia, certainly one of the more adventurous defenders in the Romanian side in the first half. Barbalescu running straight into McMaster and a goal kick to Aberdeen. So Aberdeen who have gone 10 matches without defeat and they've only lost three goals on the way. Maintaining that form tonight and doing Scotland proud. Rugby playing a long ball forward, and it's won this time by Kirsta. Zampier heading it on. Back from Weir to Rugby. Great little layoff from Strachan. Neil Cooper. Misunderstanding with John Hewitt. Hewitt started a run to that right side, then checked out, but Cooper didn't realize that. Barbolescu made a lot of yards to get into that attacking position now here's Radu to Turku now Kahlo Barbalescu Kahlo wants to return and now wants the chance to cross Barbalescu sending it in and it's straight to Leighton but again Romanian stringing a few passes together inside the Aberdeen defence Hewitt to Kennedy. Now it's tracking. Kennedy making the run. There's the chance for Watson. Well, that was finishing of as careless a caliber as you could care to see. Well, that really should have been the fourth goal. Kennedy stripping the entire remaining defense in the dead ball line. Pulling it back. There's Watson. Eight yards out. The goal at his mercy. And snatching that right over the top. Now Radu. Callow again. Anciano. Posing a new problem for Miller. And winning a free kick with that little bit of wrestling. 
tall, powerful figure, number 15. No, the Aberdeen defence must remain alert. They cannot afford to lose an away goal. As you recall, they count double in the event of a draw and could make the difference between qualifying for the third round and failing. Five-man wall. Radu will take the kick. Kick that joining the wall. Good save by Leighton. Not a lot of power behind this shot, but it was bending furiously towards Leighton's right-hand post. That was good handling. Well, Radu coming close, and Aberdeen now trying to turn the screw again at the other end. Peter Weir. Blatant body check by Zampier. So the free kick to Aberdeen. Rook is in a hurry, but I think he'll leave that to McMaster. Short ball taken. That's a bad one from McMaster. Callow, Moisiano challenged by Cooper. Now Kennedy. Hewitt going to the right, followed by Tulpan. Well, the fullback did well escorting that behind. The Aberdeen players think that was unfair, but I thought the ball was always in playing distance with the fullback, which means that it was fair play on his part. Stanko's goal kick. Cooper's head up down to Kennedy. Thank you, attacking the ball. Here's Andy Watson. Wide now to Weir. Far post ball. Well, Christian came for it and got a powerful fist to it. Not a bad effort from Rugby. Kept that down well. Would have been so easy to blow it over the top, and he was intent at keeping it down just wide of the right hand post. Moisiano. Well, that certainly will pose no problems for the Aberdeen defence. There's the Aberdeen bench, Alec Ferguson looking at his watch, I think, wondering if he can snatch another before the final whistle. Kirsten playing it wide to Ignat. Left midfield player throughout the match, Moisianu. Ignat again. Wide as Zamfin. And that was well held by Leighton. Was Moisiano coming in? Zamfir's left foot shot. And if Leighton hadn't held it, it might well have been a rebound, which would have caused some trouble for the Aberdeen defence. Cheeky little ball forward from Weir to Angus. 15 minutes left. Christian's come for it, and these elastic arms gathering them all safely. Now Radu. Here's Turku. Radu again. Waiting for Callow. Turku is onside. Played on by Miller, who made the block. Now Andy Watson, Hewitt and McGee are forward, Strachan coming up on the right flank, so is Kennedy, what's forcing Strachan to turn back? Now using Kennedy as a decoy, that's just tipping over the top. Well, that was an anxious moment for Christian. Strachan going inside, using Kennedy's overlap as a decoy to find space for the shot, and that's just tipping over the top. Callow again. Balutza, don't think he quite intended that, but he's still got possession, taking on Rugby. Corner kick is given. So another moment for the Aberdeen defence to remain diligent. Looks like a spot of cramp for Doug Rugby. Now right back to Ignat. Oh, and that wasn't far away. That might well have been... The goal which would have made life very tough for Aberdeen. 
Ignat had a lot of time to tee that up. A lot of power behind the right foot shot, and that couldn't have missed the post by much. Tulpan taking over and lofting it forward. Moisiano playing it on to Radu. Now Turka. And uh, just over the top from Turku. That could so easily have made it 3 1. Well, a moment of slackness in the Aberdeen defence. The ball was lofted forward apparently aimlessly, but found its way to Turku and that lashing right foot volley might well have hit the net. So we're into the final minute. Tiri Pitodre. Aberdeen leading by three goals to nil. And McGee still chasing for a fourth. Back to Angus. Infield now to Watson. Strachan trying a long range effort, but that's causing no trouble for Christian. So Gordon Strachan has flitted in and out of the match throughout the night, but made some very important contributions. In fact, there'll be no more action. The referee bringing the match to an end. Aberdeen winning by three goals to nil. The goal scorers all in the first half. Strachan, Weir and Hewitt. And there's the Argent goalkeeper, Christian, who made such a difference in the second half. In the first half, Aberdeen caused all sorts of trouble with cross balls into the box. But whenever Christian appeared, that all changed. They gave his defence confidence. And Aberdeen may well welcome the fact that they got that very healthy lead before the interval. So that's the position here at Petodre. An excellent night for Aberdeen. They're through by three goals to nil. They take away to Romania in a fortnight's time. And with that, it's good night from Petodre.